If your brush is noisy or isn't spinning properly, then there's a problem with your Moppet brush system. The brush system consists of the brush, brush motor with built-in thermal breaker, a brush switch, an idle bearing assembly, a drive bearing assembly, and a belt that connects the motor to the brush. The brush system is simple. When you turn on the brush switch, the belt transfers the power from the brush motor to the brush through pulleys. First, lay the machine down on its back and turn the brush switch on for a few seconds to see if the brush spins. If the brush is spinning but is noisy, then your idle or drive bearing needs to be replaced. To pinpoint which bearing needs to be replaced, first turn off the brush switch and remove the idle bearing plate assembly by removing the two screws in the corner of the plate. You then need to remove the brush by sliding it off the drive bearing assembly. With both the idle bearing plate and brush removed, turn on the brush switch. You should only hear the soft hum of the brush motor, like this. If there is no noise other than the soft hum of the brush motor, then the idle bearing assembly needs to be replaced. If the loud noise persists, then the drive bearing assembly needs to be replaced. Please see our drive bearing assembly videos for instructions on how to replace the drive and idle bearing assemblies. If the brush doesn't spin when the brush switch is turned on, turn off the switch and then remove the belt cover to check the belt. If the belt is off the pulleys, twist the large brush pulley to make sure that it spins freely. The pulley should spin freely without any excess play. If there is play in the pulley, or if the pulley does not spin, then the drive bearing assembly needs to be replaced. Now let's check the brush motor. For the sake of this video, we've added a small dot from a marker to make the spinning pulley easier to see. Turn on the brush switch to see if the motor pulley spins. If the motor spins and is noisy, then the brush motor will need to be replaced. If the motor doesn't spin at all when the brush switch is turned on, please see our electrical troubleshooting video. If the brush motor sounds good and there's no play in the large brush pulley, then you can reinstall the belt and your problem should be solved. To reinstall the belt, please see our video on belt replacement. If your belt keeps coming off the pulley during use, double check to make sure the belt has the correct tension. It should only move about a fourth inch when squeezed. If the problem persists, even after double checking the tension, then it is time to replace your drive bearing assembly. If your brush motor stops spinning while in use, it is likely that the built-in thermal breaker has tripped to prevent the motor from overheating. This is most commonly caused by having too much down pressure on the brush, but could also happen if the Moppet has been used for an extended period of time, or the Moppet is encountering too much resistance from an over-tightened drive belt, a bearing that is worn out, or is being bound by something wrapped around it like a buildup of hair or string. To correct this, see our video on properly adjusting the brush pressure. Once the motor is cooled, the thermal breaker will reset and work normally again. Call Spectrum at 1-800-290-2833 for further help.